Amen. Ah, I forget. I see you. Oh, I ruwa to rebose you. I know that you ro la la. I forget. I see you. All I ruwa to rebose you. Anura duro ala isabe afobe ati fu aruwa to mi poshe anura duro ala afobe ati fu alaru to mi poshe tori anura duro ala afobe ati fu. Onorua to ri ba she, to la nu la du la la. Afope ati yefo, aye la ye bo she, to la nu la du la la. Afope ati yefo, onorua to ri ba she, to la nu la du la la. Afope o i yefo. Aye la ye ope ni fo kore, to la tu la du lo la la. Ope ati fu, ola nu wa to ri bo she, to la nu la du lo la la. To la nu la du lo la la, to la nu la du lo la la. To la nu la du lo la la yo, to la nu la du lo la la. Amen. You welcome again in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, many people are not here today. Some hardly believe. Can it be true? Here, yeah. in fact, many people never hear that we have resumed. But we thank God. Clap your hand for Jesus Christ. Amen. Ah, I can see your face. Be like say your face not look the same. Some people fat, some people lean, some people tall, some people short. He get us in view. <laughs> Glory be to the name of the Lord. This is my question. Are you the same? Are you the same person that departs? Are you the same person that left that time? Are you the same person I left that time? Are you the same person we met that time? Are you the same person? Are you better or worse? Are you the same? But God is the same. God never changed. God is the same. God never changed. <laughs> Let's pray one more prayer before we sit down. We are going to pray, God. In your infinity power and your infinity mercy, bring your church back into perfection bring your church when i say god church i'm not talking about only here every church that belongs to god all over the world bring them back to perfection i don't want to know the name of their churches so far the church is established on the true word of god bring them back to perfection Open your mouth and pray. Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. 
in Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Are we here in Nigeria? Then where is this place called Nigeria? If you go into spiritual realm and you discover the location where Nigeria is situated in the presence of God, fear will grip you. Nigeria is now situated in the location where the anger of God wants to burst. That is my fear. Nigeria is not situated in a place of grace because all good, good prophets, great, great anointing that God has invested in Nigeria as labor in vain. And anywhere God invests so much love, grace like this, the whole kingdom of darkness focus that place. Upon several, several, several warnings, we later betray God. And now that the anger of God is about to reign, who can stand it? The same God that killed your enemy can destroy you in totality like he did to Israelites. After killing Pharaoh and his soldier, he still returned to Israelites in the wilderness and killed them one by one just because they arose his anger. God, I'm too small to face your anger. Take your anger away from me. Take your anger away from your church. Take your anger away from your children. Do not fight us. We cannot stand it. Do not consume us. We cannot stand it. Lord, show your mercy. Open your mouth and pray. You may be surprised. How come evangelists whom we used to know everything? Leave that to God. Since yesterday night, I have started the prayer. Whenever we pray here, you know God will answer. So let us pray. The attack they want to bring in October 1st, that God should stop it. Because if anything happens, you know, there are some attack, even though you are not injured, there are some things you will see, you will lose your sense. If they give you chicken, turkey, wine, to you it will be like maggots. You will lose all your joy, your appetite. It is something that, that work in you that gives you appetite to eat. Too. When there is no joy, you will be good as dead. You know, I told you, about the spirit of fear how that thing what is the name of that thing say? I adrenaline you will not get it unless fear come upon you and the moment fear come upon you that thing will, will, will come into your blood and when it come to your blood it is then demon can feed with your blood if you have confidence and joy they can feed with your blood. And when this killing started, tell me, though I know they shoot gun again, I know they handle gun again, but even though I handle gun, how many of them only me can kill? If I throw gun, give you now, fear go let you use it. Now like this is what they do. You will not even know what to touch there. Do you understand? Somebody told me, Mama, you know how to use gun very well. Let's supply you so that you protect your people. Now I laugh. I know your house. We are come protect you there. <laughs> I know your house. <laughs> so how many will I protect and how many guns will I use at a time? I just laugh. Because whatever happened right here in our country, we may be blind to see the people far away from us they see everything they know everything like i told you on the mountain other country of the world 
other countries in the world they are they are crying for nigeria but nigeria are busy looting money i don't know where the dead man will spend money either dollar pounds or euro i don't know the name of currency that dead man spend in the grave the foolishness in nigeria has come to the peak thank god we pray against corona here and god did not allow the power of corona to kill us in nigeria assuming we did not pray assuming god did not show mercy assuming this thing kill like it kill in italy in uk in america the same way people will be looting money during the hour of death because during corona money people they <laughs> and they rush here they don't even mind Koro. Do you know why? Because when the anger of God is upon a man, the first thing he will lose is understanding. When anger of God is upon a man, the first thing he will lose is wisdom. When anger of God is upon a man, it will bring about error. Whenever he tried to do something good, he will only succeed in doing wrong again. That is the sign and the reflection of the anger of God. When he said, this is a mistake, let me commit it. Another mistake will follow. That is anger of God. When, he, when you adjust yourself, correct yourself, and you grow into perfection, that is favor of God. It will be only be done when you are permitted by God. When God is angry with you, you will try so much to do what is right. Bet with me, you will always be wrong. That is why the word of God says it's not by power, it's not by might, but by the Spirit, says the Lord. And uh, if it's by the Spirit of God, then is the Spirit of God happy with you? Is the God of the Spirit okay with you? When someone is not happy with you, when someone is not okay with you, will he help you? Will he support you? No. Many pastors in Nigeria, they are busy prophesying peace. Bible talk about that. You remember when I make the alarm on the YouTube? I say, children of God, you pray. Famine is coming. Truly, we pray. Not up to a week. Rain started falling. But my dear, don't be too happy. The rain that fall only fall for us to prepare. Because what will happen? We happen. The rain that fall only fall for us to prepare. You remember the dream of that king that Joseph interpreted. He give them how many years to do what? To gather. Because the, the remaining seven years will be dry. <laughs> But I don't even think we have two years together. I don't think so. It was when we are doing youth convention. I hear, I told you, Pastor Femi was there. I hear the grand is talking. No, it's a gift from God. What is this grand saying? Farming. I say, ah, farming? Okay. <laughs> If you discover last month, there's maybe before this rain started falling, you discover there's a breeze was blowing. The wind was blowing. If you are spiritual here, you will hear it saying something. It's not just breeze. Since you are born, that weather has never occurred in Nigeria. It has been before, but it's long. 
The wings was talking, but no one can hear because spiritually we are too low to hear the language of the nature. I was afraid. My dear people, let me tell you this. There are many things I used to see, I used to hear, I know, but how do I speak to the understanding of the low creatures? They won't understand. The next thing they will say is, I don't mind her, she's a liar. And it hurts me. So, my keeping silence has destroyed many things. And what do I do? It was then I started praying. God, what is this? I told you it took me into the book of Revelation. You remember? Chapter God. Say, this is the hera. Famine is coming. And people, I started calling abroad. I go into YouTube. I discover for past three months America has been preparing his people. People are buying food, keeping food. People coming from Italy. People coming from Germany. I told you people now, my people, on one Sunday like that, a man, a man of God called me from Igbora. He said, Mamara Peck, buy food and keep. I said, why? He said, family is coming. <laughs> what do you mean? He said, Mama, there's a, there's, a, there's a vehicle like that, truck like that. They call it pickup. Uh, but the back is open. They normally use it to park uh, all those cassava, corn, yam from all those villages to Lagos. He said, a load of that truck last year, he sold, is it not 9,000 or how much he said they sold it? He said, but mama, today is 190 or 80 like that. I said, uh -uh. last year, 9,000. How much he call himself? Eh? Eh? I don't remember how much he call it, sir. Eh? He said, this year is 180. How come? What thing happened? Not be only one and a half months rain no for. Maybe one month self. She been in the fall before. They say the ground not just bring anything. They say yam last year load fifty thousand. This year two fifty. I be waiting there. Ah. Even the cassava for. Uh, Ogo State here, those one call it 200 and 250 or 220. Just cassava. You, when you they buy plastic, Gary, you know how much is it now? Huh? I used to buy a bag of Gary, 6,000. I used to buy 7,000. If I buy the one they call Kutonu Gary, I used to buy that one, 9,000. I get there last two weeks. I bought, they told me that one of 9,000 is 21,000. Gary, the one I used to buy 6,000, they sold it 18,000. Yes, Gary. And now come to rice. All those imported one, 27, 28, 30. <laughs> Even people bringing it direct from Kotonu, 20,000. Lojubo to balok pa de wano go twenty thousand direct. Na in the seller. That man now say, Mama, I know if information get to you, it will reach many people. That's why I called you. He said, Now in our village, we have told people to stop selling. I think it's a joke. I came here, I told people. I go to market when I want to buy that gari. I say, Mama. You are still selling, or they say this, they say this. Now, all those people, they said, Gary, sell a Lubos, say, okay, a bad job. I say, what is a bad job? They say for market yesterday, they say, Molam, full everywhere. 
say they are just buying. You see, all of them are just looking. What are they doing here? What are they buying? You see, all the market women are happy. They double the money. They double the money. They say, I will sell no price, Sam. They just they give them money. See, all of them now are happy. Say, hey, they are buying their market. Now, I come tell and say, every one of you that laugh will soon cry. You. This is what is going to happen. We start prayer, rain fall. I know God answer our prayer because we pray. But yet, we still need to pray more. Because <laughs> if care is not taken, the God that creates, that know what he put in the ground that make it to grow, is about to take that thing away. There's something God put in the ground that make us to say this land is a blessed land. If you remove that blessing, what will go remain? Cause the meaning of church is to help ourselves. My question is this: Why do they keep quiet? Do you want to prove to me that I'm the one that get this information? It's a lie. I'm not the only one. I believe because this thing is no more secret. If you have ever stumbled on this information on YouTube before today, raise up your hand. Apart from me, have you ever heard it from anybody? Maybe from abroad, I mean. Nobody tell you about this. You heard about it. God bless you. Who heard about it again? You two heard about it. On YouTube. See. I'm not the only one. Our purpose, they hear my problem is this. Why do they keep quiet? Is this the fear of death? Fear of government? Or fear of losing member? Or what is it? Or did God say, no problem, I'm in control? Maybe not me, God, no talk to. He may be one of each other. Maybe not me, no hear correct. Maybe I'm the one hearing nonsense. We shall see. But my people, when God is angry, prayer will work before he starts the anger. But when he don't start, the only person that will beg him that he will hear will be the person that is not among the people that cause it. Hmm. That's the problem. Where do we find someone that is not among the cause to stop him? Where are we? <laughs> mm -hmm. hmm. If God is angry, I don't know how to stop him. If God refused to show mercy, who will escape? Several warning has been given. Let me just read here from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23. Jeremiah, chapter 23. I'm reading verse 9. Concerning the, concerning the prophet, my heart is broken within me, all my bone trembling. I am like a drunken man, like a man overcome by wine, because of the Lord and his holy words. Then, the land is full of adulterers because of the cause. The land lay and the pasture in the des desert are withheld. The prophet follow an evil causes and use their power unjustly. Both prophet and priest are godless. Even in my temple, I find their wickedness, declare the Lord. Twelve. Therefore, their path will become slippery. They will be banished to darkness and their way and there they will fall. I will bring the satire on them in the year they are Punish, declare the Lord. 13. Among the prophets of Samaria, I saw the 
repulsive things they prophesy by bad and lead my people astray that means the spirit of idol can bring prophecy even in the church 14 and among the prophets of jerusalem i have seen something horrible they commit adultery and live a lie they stretching the hand of evil doer so this how do they strengthen the hand of evil doer somebody do for one night somebody become government official loot government money pay tight in the church and they pray for them that is how they strength the hand of evil doers so that no one turn from wickedness they are all like sodom to me the people of jerusalem are, are like gomorrah therefore this is what the lord almighty con say concerning the prophet i will make them eat bitter food and drink poisonous water because from the prophet of jerusalem ungodliness has spread through the land whenever the press come to interview me i say it on youtube say the problem of nigeria is caused by pastors church some people say i'm saying nonsense is it not the same thing i'm reading here you see we are the problem we are the one the only people god give power to chastise the evil one but no we pamper them because of money we are the one that bring cause hey listen the missionary the faithful servant of god take away cause from this land and by the time the prodigal and bastard get to the pulpit, they return course in double. The missionary die, shed their blood to take away course from this land, I mean Africa. But looter, cheaters, liars, bastards, strangers, Come back, grown up, take the position of the righteous. The return, the cause that be gone back to the land of blessing. And what brought the cause? Immorality. How come immorality? no government will stop immorality it is religion only religion can stop immorality and how do we do it we have authority to say mr governor if you don't release that money you squander the money you take if you don't pay salary of the workers we give you three months this is what will happen to you when it happened to him if another man is elect and he become governor, will he do this? We lost the power. We we misuse the power, the authority. We use it ungodly, and they always boast. They say when God give, He will not take back. Yes, God may not take their power, but He can destroy them with their power. But by the time the owner of power die, the power to we die. But when God is here, ready to destroy them, don't go down with them. Return from their lies. Return from the deceit. Because the day of God's wrath, excuses would not be hard. Mm -hmm. can you hear what god say about them god is angry with them he said therefore this is what the lord almighty said concerning the prophet i will make them to eat bitter food and drink poisonous poisonous water because from the prophet of jerusalem ungodliness has spread throughout the land let's read verse 16 of jeremiah 23 verse 16 this is what the lord almighty say do not listen to what the prophet are prophesying to you they will fill you with false hope did you hear that they will tell you no problem they will fill you with false hope 
do not listen to what the prophet are prophesying to you they will fill you with false hope they speak vision from their own mind not from my mouth from the mouth of the lord 17 they keep saying to those who despise me hmm. who are they the people that love them because of the anointing they never care what the mind of god say he said they always say to those who despise me the lord say you will have peace and to all who follow the stubbornness of their hearts they say no harm will come to you but which of them has stood in the counsel of the lord to see or to hear his word who has listened and add the word see the storm of them we burst out in rats a wide wind swelling down on the e on the end of the wicked the anger of the lord will not turn back until he fully accomplish the purpose of his heart in the day to come you will understand it clearly i did not say this i did not send this prophet yet they have run with their message i did not speak to them yet they have prophesied but if they have stood in my counsel they will have proclaimed my word to my people and will have turned them from their evil way and from their evil deed verse 23 i am i only a god nearby declare the lord and not a god far away can anyone hide in secret place so that i cannot see him declare the lord do not do not i feel heaven and earth declare the lord <laughs> praise the lord my people i've told you for long the only person fighting this nature nation is god the God who single-handedly blessed us among all the lands that surrounded us. He especially blessed Nigeria among other countries that surrounded us. Not only with crude oil and good land, he blessed us with unique prophets and anointings which cannot be found anywhere in the whole world. At the end, what's the result? We are caused. Who caused us? Sin. Disobedience. Over familiar to the, to, the, to, to the anointing. Too much of miracle. Too much of wonders. The Lord is good all the time. That terrible statement. God is not good all the time. God is good only to this repentant sinner, not to the habitual sinners. Telling you God is good all the time, even when you are not good. Telling you God is good all the time, even when you disobey. And my Bible never told me. All, all those people called in the land of Sodom and Gomorrah, is this God not their God? If he's good, when people refuse to be good all the time, why must Sodom and Gomorrah go down like that? If it's good all the time, when they want to kill and destroy the Sodom and Gomorrah, what happened to the infant, two-month-old baby, a day-old baby, three-hours-old baby? He cannot send angels to rescue them before he destroy all, all other people. Why can't he do that? Beware. Of God that destroys Sodom and Gomorrah is the same God of Bible. The God that sent flood in the day of Noah is the same God of Christian, not only the God of Jew. If the same God is your God, beware of his anger. No matter how smart is your pastor no matter how it twists the word of god it is the word of his mouth will be twisted the word in the bible can never change 
and if they reprint their bible and the word in their bible is twisted and changed the god that speaketh will never change like i used to say a fool prepare only for tomorrow but the wise prepare for forever and where is forever forever can only be found after death my dear every one of us have slots on earth my slot may be 40 years yours may be 70 yours may be 80 and you will get more than that measurement time when it's over the moment you finish that slot you will go into your eternity you will go into your forever and where is the land of your ever where is the land of your ever i will never forgive you forever and i lie you are a baby you don't know the meaning of ever no you don't know it there's nothing like ever here have you ever seen something forever on this head there's nothing called forever here don't worry we will still go into heaven by the time me and you go into heaven we will surely understand every, what a second of our life give to us. Each second of your life is a giver. But did you ever collect or make use of every grace a second give to you? Somebody cheat you. He disgrace you. He insult you. He make you angry. And you are truly angry, right? But let me warn you. If God give you a second to cite that person, rush to him. I have forgiven you. I have forgiven you. He can slap you again, but say to him, because that second may not come again. The each second that your life gave to you, how do you do it? There's a second for you to return to God. How do you do it? There's a second to return to man. How do you do it? That little time given to you to correct everything. How do you do it? Don't worry. Time will soon be over. Because in ever, no counting of time. The day you, you enter into ever, nobody will calculate time anymore. So, when they say time, you remember that my message, time is life. You remember, go back and visit that message. By the time this time is over, you will be in heaven. By the time this time is over, you will be in your ever. And you will not be able to return to the time you have wasted. My dear, if this illiterate woman is standing here talking to you in wisdom, only a primary school student that did not even go back to school is talking here and you thought it's just natural and normal. God is talking to you in ordinary woman. This time we speak by the time you enter into your heaven. You will hear this voice again. But I pray this word will not speak to you after death in your condemnation. Amen. The voice, you may call it the voice of Fumilayo. But my dear, it is voice of Fumilayo here now you are hearing. But after that, that voice will not reflect Fumilayo. It will reflect a dino. So that is why I'm warning you now. This thing you call message, summer, preaching, call it anything. 
if you remember any of this after death in your ever I don't know the face it will reflect to you especially you you live your life your star your thinking your feeling go according to the system and the condition of the environment you move by the wave of the world things that happen things they do latest what they say and you cannot live by what the ancient bible say my dear you are originally meant to be doomed the people that will escape the wrath of god forever are the stubborn people that refuse to do what others do people that are ready to face shame and insult from their beloved you are old school you are local you don't understand people that will intimidate you every day if you are ready to bear the insult you will escape but you can't bear it you want to do what everybody do excuse me have you ever seen a young man like you claim to be a soldier carry you know parents give back to three boys one is a doctor one happened to be a politician and they make money and one of them decided to be a soldier in fact the youngest one other two siblings in the same house are making money in dollars he chose to be a soldier and do you know what one day they say there's war and they carry gun and they joyfully do like this going to war to you according to you your brain what do you think about that brother no somebody should talk to me talk to me no if they say you should imagine who is he to you fool is he fool talk now when other brother they enjoy he just decide to go and die eh, just to go and die because and the people that died before him government did not remember their children government did not take care of their parents and you never see all those things you still want to go and die is it right it's not right then what caused it why is he like that why is he happy to go and face war why can somebody tell me one reason you say he did not love to die it's not love yes yes it's not passion when you say passion somebody give that put that something put that passion in you yes uh -uh, can you sacrifice yourself it's not sacrifice let me tell you that is the power of tongue their commander dear them they put that passion in there it's our nation it's our motherland if we don't go, our children will suffer they will kill us they will show them many country what happened to them after war how they suffer do you want your country to be like this protect it we are the hero we are the security we are the life of all those things that's why they call us bloody civilians they have already put something in them they install something to their head into their mind this boko haram that go out to kill and suicide bomber they put bomb in their body to kill thousands they kill themselves for that is, that is the power of tongue pastors my dear pastors you are second god here we have power whatever we put in the head of our people that is what we happen in the town yes it is a man like us that make them a deadly soldier it is a man like us that make boko haram deadly beast it is man like us that makes some people to dress naked in the church and they fear no god and it is a man like us that makes some people that fear god and dress as you there's power in tongue my dear you are nothing tongue control the world so that's why when i say nigeria is what pastor make it to be do you believe me now we motivational speaker we excuse me 
there's a power in me that make you to leave everything you are doing that power in me bring you to this place it is that power in me that sits you down here it is that power on in me that make you not be able to do anything that will distract me or that will make me happy I, that make me annoyed. are you getting me yes. you may not know but it is a power are you getting it yes. so that is why whatever we say can't more you are thinking you are laughing if i want you to cry under 30 minutes the, i know how to make it there's a power oh, oh no how old are you idiot you are 29 a girl of 22 nine by that plane they say you go to school see your mother see your father they say where i will sit. that laughter will disappear you when you wake up in the morning do you prepare nine o'clock i will laugh Nine twenty-five, i will cry <laughs> did you plan it but before you know you will start shedding tear it is a power in my mouth that's why bible says we should take tame our tongue he has power to kill he can consume bible call it fire that is why all of you that have opportunities to gather people, they sit down under your message. Be careful. Be careful. We are the healer and we are the killer. We are the healer and we are the killer. We kill when the spirit to kill is in us. And we heal when the spirit to heal is in us. When you discover spiritually you are not balanced, please don't mount the pulpit. We are the poison and we are the antidote. If a city will obey God, tongue will bring them to obedience. If a city will disobey, tongue will bring them to disobedience. And let me now tell you this. If you happen to be a Sunday school teacher, Bible study teacher, beware how you answer to question. Each response you give will determine maybe your hearer will go to hell 20 years later or 10 years later. Your answer to a question can send 20,000 to hell especially if god made people to trust you excuse me a whole president can use tongue and lick your chew by one reason do you want to know that reason just make him to trust you there's power in trust number one we make people to trust us that when we talk god is talking is that not so excuse me if you don't believe as i talk god is talking will you waste your time and sit down here are you here to see for me or to see god so we preachers we pastor we win your trust we number one we make we make you to believe we are better than you in one way or the other is that not so? Number two, we make you to believe we can make you know or hear what God say. Is that not so? Number three, we make you to believe God is with us. If we are on your side, God is on your side. Is that not so? We, we, we manage to win your trust in many ways. If we now tell you solution to your problem is to lick this shoe and you look around, there's no alternative whosoever you may be won't you do that that means we have power to take your life and give back your life i'm telling you the gravity of the power in the hand of people you trusted in the name of god what avoc they can do to you and what good we can do but sorry the good spirit has departed from church some years back, I hear so-called man of God, but to me, he's a, he's a pastor. And what's the meaning of pastor? Shepherd. 
Abi. Eh, shepherd can be a shepherd of cow, goat. It can be a shepherd of wolf. Not every shepherd is a shepherd of sheep. Being a shepherd does not mean you are a man of God. So that language called man of God to me is heavy. Dang, dang. Anybody can be a pastor. It depends on what thing you pass on. It depends on the thing where you pass on. Praise the Lord. My people. If God is angry like this with this nature, land and nation, if God is angry like this, and the whole world, the scientific world's dictated famine is coming. The darkness dictated famine is coming. Illuminati dictated famine is coming. Idol worshippers dictated famine is coming. Even Boko Haram dictated famine is coming. Awusas dictated famine is coming. And our pastor that claimed they are closer to God did not detect famine is coming. Then what is happening? My dear, somebody told me, he said, he said for past two years now, there's a particular country in Africa, they are in famine already now. I, rem I do not remember the name of that country. Eh? Kenya. They are experienced famine now. I don't know, but somebody told me. They said there's a particular country in Nigeria, they are in famine already. In Africa, Jari. They are in famine already. And our pastors, they don't see anything. All the busy prophesy is that you are the next governor and that one too will be happy <laughs> governor Sulio <laughs> Lodo the governor ah your excellency ah ah you know they know what you do I'm only you see the busy deceiving you and you know why some men turn to lion in the house just go to prophet Ah, uh -uh. where is your car? I don't have car. No, no. With this glory, I'm saying. Ah, uh -uh. when do you return from America? No, I'm living in Ketu. Ah, uh -uh. people, where is your family? Wicked, oh, Jesus. Uh -uh. By now, supposed to be richer than, than Gote. You know, what's going to happen to the head of that person? He had to go to bang, bang, bang. Yay! The next thing he want to hear is who is behind it? Mm. Women, I pity you. And their spirit is not the same man, no. Now, woman, their spirit they see is either mother or wife. One of them must be the victim. <laughs> must be the victim. So that's why, women, I tell you, be praying. Toria Mamo Shenjiya. Because by the time a prophet say you are a wench, but yeah, nothing will bring that child back. That's what they are doing now. And oh. before now, old woman they come wench. Either you hold you young, all women now are wench. Especially your husband. Love you. Ah, you are a wench. Oh. He loves you. <laughs> you are a winch. Now something you use for that. Hmm. There's, an, uh, there's a radio interview they gave me yesterday. They say, why is it divorce, divorce every second? <laughs> hmm. I, I will still continue the interview, sir. Divorce. How long be no any divorce? Divorce, because called die dead in both. Die dead is coming, not only divorce. When I, when I gave them some points, they know, say, yes, true, true. This thing is real wahala. Either you are good as a woman, or you are not good. <laughs> Only God can hold, can hold your home. Only 
God. That is why if husband and wife have misunderstanding, they bring it to me. The women of our church, they know they like to bring it to me. Because they know, say, now nah, woman I go blame. Not because I purposely want to blame you. You are the only one who can bring back the peace. Do you know why? That terrible statement of uh, Isaiah chapter 4 verse 1 that says seven women on one man. If you give back to boys, pray, my son, nobody shall rape you. No woman will rape you. You shall not be raped in Jesus' name. They pray for your children. <laughs> you don't do, brother. You are too serious now. Sit down. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because it's getting to time. Men will be raped. As you tell your daughter, don't go out in the night. A time is coming. She be you know. When I say something, it will happen. And not be me saying it. I can see it. It's happening. It's showing everywhere. A time is coming. And it's happening in abroad now. They are started raping boys now. Serious rape. They will just put drop something in their drink. And that this thing no go fee come down. And he go sit down, you know, go no. It's different girls go they sleep with him. By the time you wake up, he can faint again. They will rush him to hospital. They say, Ah, this boy has been raped. Ah, imagine how can a man be raped? Man unconscious. Person where they unconscious. How come they rape him? For you to know, there's nothing animals cannot do. When you see girls going out naked every day, you thought it's a fashion. It's not a fashion. It's a spirit of anima. Like that woman in Utopia told me. He said, you say we Muslims are killing Christians. Madam, we don't kill Christians. We kill only animals. Uh -uh. I said, what do you mean? He said, okay. Have you ever killed chicken in your house? I said, yes. He said, is that a sin? I said, it's not a sin. I said, have you ever killed goat? I said, we kill goat now. He said, is that a sin? I said, it's not a sin. I said, but, he now say, both the chicken and the goat, do they wear clothes? I say, no. He said, animal don't wear clothes. And the same thing, Christian. When Christian say they wear clothes, you will see half of their breast. You will see their pants. You will see their tasting. See, Muslim, we, we met in uh, Ethiopia. Religions leaders met him. So, People that represent each religion are there. Among all of them, only Christian representative women wear trousers, wear cloth that open their body. Other religion leader as a female cover is a you to see. That is why the woman came to me. He said, Are you a Muslim? I say no. I say I'm a Christian. I say, no, I don't believe. Christians don't dress like you. It's only Muslim can dress like this. Ah. To me, I I, want, I was annoyed by something coming. <laughs> oh, see in the other man, calm down. Nah, calm down. By the time he analyzed it to me, shame cash me. Because if I want to argue, I can still see some other three women that are Christian there. The way they dress, are you understand now? All your mommy geos now. <laughs> the way they dress. Reverend Mrs. Bishop. The way they dress, you know, dress to kill. Man. If they are scared long like this, if they stand, you know, go no. By the time they do like this, because he said the thing don't tear like this, reach here. Hallelujah. Ye kere bobo son taraba. Ye me boo boo. You will see it. Everything will be open. You will see it. Shame cash me. And me that day, as I dress, you know, if I travel out, or maybe I go somewhere at times. Are they all this uh, veil? When do they take cover body? Me, I they use them well, well. In that meeting, after I dress, he born, and I still use and cover my body. Now, so me, I they dress at times. So, so we now see, I, I have them plenty in the house. He born, uh, as I they talk now, you see, still more than 30 in my house. I have different colors because at times I don't trust my tailor. They feel make something too open. I just cover them. Me, I know, uh -huh. Yes. Now I say, mommy, this thing has destroyed the fashion. I say, I wear clothes, not fashion. You see? Amen. A woman can say, you are not a Christian. Christian cannot dress like this. Is it not insultive? 
<laughs> my dear he said we don't kill human being we kill animal see that statement and that is what they made them to feel they are animals they are not human like us clear them if you don't kill them they will pollute our children our children will be like them that's the statement they have in head and whenever they kill us do you do you see pity in them but if any one of them die they will cry say oh a human being die but if it's one of us they don't see that they are killing human being and who make us animal sin worldliness my dear mostly they live in some country with idol worshiper and no battle but when come to christian my dear what freedom can do at times is highly destructive than bomb and those things we call freedom is not really freedom is foolishness there's no freedom in bible that give you free access to sin freedom only free us from sin he did not free us to sin jesus did not give us any freedom to go and commit sin he only give us freedom to detach from sin you see the bible say come as you jesus say come as you are now which jesus say come as you are if you come as you are Will you die as you are? Ah. If we say come as you are, he know as you are, only to correct you, to amend you. Praise the Lord. Someone was accusing me. He said our church, and we are playing earlier than thou. I say I love that statement. Any language you call it. Why? Because uh, he wear attachment. And we say, is either you don't enter, or you cover it we don't even want to see the hand at all it was annoyed and he put chain makeup say you go and remove everything if you like keep it in your bag but don't bring it in he say we are doing this we are doing that excuse me many people are watching us on youtube if you see somebody that put jewelry and makeup and attachment sit down here another one sit down here another one sit down here and i stand here preaching is not good what would they say? Say, see him, member. See, Abi, will I say, please, oh, if you are a member of RAPEC, stand up so that people on the internet will know my member. Please, all of us watching us on the internet, this one is not my member. This one is not only this one. Hey, only this one. Will I say that? So, no, 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 no. Have I ever told you one day that we should pray that God should bring crowd? I don't need crowd. I need few that will obey my God. I never pray one day make my church big like redeem. Now we are one put them. I did not go to school. I'm not educated. Whatever I say here is only by God I say it. So I'm no one wahala. When Jesus Christ gathered 12,000, he give them bread, he give them fish. The day they want to kill him, did one stand? Did they tell them the truth? 12,000 remain 12, and the 12 shot one. What is the benefit of crowd without salvation? The only benefit of crowd without salvation is money. And if I need money, my dear, wow! The, the person that can give me money is Lucifer. If what I need is money, I will not establish church. Because church will cage me. If he give me money, he will not allow me to, to eat my money. Church will not allow me to club. Church will not allow me to drink alcohol. Church will not allow me to sleep with a chair. Church will not allow me to party with my money. So, any money church gives to you, he will still cage you. He will give you condition. So, if I need money, I will not do church business. I will run club, clubhouse, do cocaine business. The people that make much money are the people that are selling war 
gadgets. If I selling weapons for war, you will make more money. If you want to make money, gather boys, train them, possess them with the white beasts of blood. They become terrorists. You will make money. I know how to make money, and I have ability to do it. I have the experience. I have the knowledge. I have the power. I know the people. I have connection. No evil on earth I don't have access to. I know what I'm saying. People that know Mami Bolos, they hear me talking, they will confirm. But they ah. <laughs> if that is what I want, I will not venture into church this thing. And I will make my kum. Either cool money or hot money, money, na money. I go make them. So van our money. The one way hot self, now they boom fast. I will make it. And I will chop and freely. Money make man talk like mad. Not mad, talk like demon. In those days, when I'm in those runs, cocaine, ayakila, robbery, all those things, and their mother, as young as I am, that beer, I'm on a snake. If I see that, I can tell man and man, homosexual, be doing it. I pay you $2,000, $2,000, start. I will sit down, I'll be looking at them live. Money can do that. I can come woman. Pick your friend, two of you, yeah, start doing it. Let me see you. No be video, live. Pornography, live. They will do it for, they will do it to themselves. I will laugh. As they are doing it, I, I can pour my drink on them. They will be doing it and we will be pouring drink on them. Mami comes stand here and say, Hell fire, heaven. And you sit down and say, You are trying. My dear, I don't chop life. Oh, be. Life no near you. You no chop anything. If you go to hell, you are a fool. I will tell you, I'm going to go to hell. Oh, you see what I'm saying is this. I've gone into all those nonsense. I come back to the same God you think you come back to. And I'm running away and you are putting your head there. Hey, Fufu. Fufu, sure. Or the number of Fufu. I'm not brain about it. I'm not going to tell you, Fufu. Fufu, be careful. Because if fire touch Fufu, he go down to Paco. Eh, tiri kini e pa fufuri. Kokoroni kraka kaka ni wano 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 la zola re ma besuni fufuni. Because have you ever asked me about all those multitude that follow me? Then ninety percent of them are in hell, and I'm their master that lead them to destruction. The most painful part of it is that I cannot save them. And do you know the worst part of it? They will remain there forever. And the person that lured them into it is going to heaven. And God accepts. Hey! Yes, say you are trying. Your mother is dead. Where is she? Your friend is dead. Where is she? Your brother is there. Where is he? Where is he? Forever hell or forever heaven. And you have little time to choose what is right. And somebody is preaching to you, this is a sin. And you now open your dirty mouth and say, and you say this is a sin, you say this is a sin, what about this? There's no logo in it. Now is it not only to dress? She ain't going to see you. Even though the one you know is not a sin, if your mind does suspect it, run! Because if you thought you have 1,000 more time and all remain is just one more time and you cannot reverse it, how, you, how will you do in ever of regret? How can you manage ever in regret?
my message see forever is timeless forever is timeless that means no time in ever no date in ever no calendar in ever here is time the moment you relocate into the life of ever there will be no more time is ever but no time that's the worst how can ever ask no time ever but no time it is here we have time in ever there's no time and it is only time can give you chance to change destiny for better nothing will ever change in heaven nothing change in the in the world of ever nothing change in life of ever forever is timeless change in heaven no correction in heaven ever is forever and ever and that ever will remain the same only a fool will be careless about this time do you know what whenever time is going it doesn't give warning I'm getting over manage me oh make you he will not talk oh time is always silence in fact time is dumb time don't talk and time never comes sufficient is there any time that you ever that is ever sufficient no he never come in sufficient he never give warning be careful this time will determine your fate in ever this time will determine your fate in ever somebody pray for you madam i pray for you in jesus name forever you will never cry you can say amen but it's not sure his prayer cannot make it done until you make it done but if somebody say in your lifetime you will not cry that one is prayer it can happen anointing can make you never to cry in your lifetime do you know it's up it can happen but that ever even the person where they pray for you don't know the meaning of ever the person where they pray for you said did not have ever in his control do you know who can control ever even your ever god self cannot control it nine words pass jesus cannot control your ever if he can control your ever he will not send a preacher to you he will just press the button this is how his ever should be permanent you don't need preaching you don't need repentance he will just turn you and that is it but he doesn't have it in control the only person that can control ever is you and only you and you will control only yours you will not control mine if i can control your ever i will not be here to be preaching to you every monday when you just come and just say receive ever oh buddy can't they jump like monkey up and down <laughs> no problem again because i don't press the button but i don't have the control and the only button that control ever is repentance of your heart your hand will not press it only your mind I remember in those days there's a particular machine if you go to an international airport you will see it we call it titan machine if you enter that machine you lie down it will be like say you did inside coffee you be like say then the, the dead body where they say coffee 
when you lie in that machine, you know, the machine go to wash your body, they'll put the rain chemical inside, the thing go to tint your body. When you come out, your body will look fresh. You know? I'm so demonic there. You know, Ronku's babe now. I'm a told to. What year? Figure eight. When I just come out, they'll give me white towel. I will tie it like this. I will now do like this. Yeah. Everybody will say, wow. I'm evil then, but they do not see the evil in me. Only the beauty they see. When I when I now wear my simple clothes, when you greet that time I know they fight. Person will fight too much, you know they fight. Because the beauty na power. Who sit on my chair when you just come? Who is that? When I I'll just look at you. Sorry. You say, okay, I'm not saying are you. <laughs> he won't fight. He won't fight. The person will ugly. Look at their face. They're too tighter. <laughs> not to impress anybody in the face. If you just go and meet an ugly man like that, before you come, you two don't get ready. Uh -huh. I see your head here. The best way to fight too much. If you just say, you do something mistakenly, even though you break your plate, you will just come. I'm sorry, I break your plate, please. You just say, um, thank God, say not you. Thank God, say not you. Uh, my dear, everything you have, he have his own benefit and advantage in one way or the other but if you don't have wisdom spirit of god there's nothing you cannot cannot use against human being if you are ugly too that one too now weapon if you're ugly comedia talk you don't know say they're sweet ugly comedia if they want you to laugh they don't need to go far if you just do like this you go laugh tire if you just do like this you go laugh because the things have don't look like dim already <laughs> You see, there's reason for everything, but you can make good thing in everything, my dear. Either God is ang angry today, or happy today, with nation, with the world, or nature. Anywhere is angry, yet is the God that single out Noah and his family. It's the same God that single out. Lot and his children. No matter how great is his anger, he will still see that your obedience, no matter where you are hidden. But do you have anything to show him? Is there anything in you you want God to see? If you don't have anything, I pity you. So, this time you have to prepare i don't know what we are prepared for maybe we are preparing for war because there are some people we call nigeria like us are preparing war against us either we are preparing for war or we are preparing for farming or individual person sign up i don't know whatever that is coming either good or bad make sure you ever land you in peace because ever is timeless use this time to buy your ever in peace use this time to buy you see in ever you cannot buy it with money you can buy ever with time this time is the only currency to purchase heaven. And it's only two sides, hell or heaven. It's either you spend this time to buy heaven or you use this time to purchase hell. When people say time is money, fine. But everything you buy here will never go into your ever. What I mean ever, forever, life after death, eternity, 
That's what I mean by ever. Money will never buy ever. But the time you use is spending money. Is that time is ever currency. That time is the currency that can buy ever. I repeat, we have two sides of ever. Eternity is in two places. Hellfire, heaven. Hellfire, heaven. Two of them call in he come in he he hellfire. Can somebody spell hell? H E double L. Spell heaven. E, you don't do. Now H E starts two of them. Heaven. Hell. Money will not buy them. Time will buy them. And the moment he buy it, because there's no time in heaven, so you will not get time to buy or change the one in your hand. Because time is not there. So there will be no time to change the one you buy or to buy another one. So time is not in heaven. You can't count it. You can't find it. It's just one way go like that. The, the one day when I sat down thinking about hell, he can't reach one level. I say, God, if truly hell is hot like that, can hot like that. One thousand never drew. One thousand years never drew. Okay, let's say one million. At, at least if somebody entered the hell, one day, one million years will complete Abi, and at the end you come out Abi. Even though you now come out, God now make you one tree beside the river. The relax there. If for better, the most important thing is that you will never come out. No holiday. No retirement. No change. No exit. Then why are you careless about this time? What are you possessing? Uh, if somebody wants to buy goods from abroad, what will he do? He will make demand. Abi, there's an English when they put now. Say, order. They will order goods from abroad. My dear, do you know you have placed order on your eternity now? The way you that this time you are spending, you have placed order somewhere. Your life is attracting something. Either hell or heaven. You have placed your eternity order already. You have placed order on your or ever already. You have made the order already. This is your lifestyle. He has given order. In fact, they are processing it. Don't worry. Your career will deliver soon. You have made the order already. Your ever is at hand. God is not happy. He's not pleased with his people. God of the church is angry with his people. You can help yourself. Stand on your feet. Let us pray. Hmm. You are going to beg God. God. Listen to this prayer point very well. God, rescue the foolish Christians that innocently building their, uh, digging their grave in the name of gospel. Rescue the foolish Christians that are innocently digging their grave in the name of gospel. I mean the innocent under the deceit of liars, wicked leaders that they are falling into the trap of prophecy and anointing. I don't know how God will do it. Just do something. Deliver them. They are not your enemy. They are only fool. Help them. Show mercy. Do something. And let me tell you, if any church wants scatter, make it scatter. 
If Lapek is among them, scatter. You know, consign me. You don't tell where they tell you. You are not my ministry. My ministry is there inside me. In fact, my ministry is mobile. Anywhere I land, ministry land. So I don't need to protect church. You are yourself and myself. Yeah? I'm not your Lord. Me and you, we are colleagues. Now the same race with a wrong. I never reach heaven. In fact, I never make heaven. I never sure. We are still running together. But it got me. So mommy, help me. Ah, my dear, I will help you. And the only help I will give you now my mouth today. Anything you get from my mouth is the only help I will give you. And that's all I can give even to my children. Do you understand? Don't worry, dear. Don't worry. They don't give me ticket for heaven. I will borrow you. Is that true? I will. Now when we die, mommy, you know you are my mother. Take it easy. When we die, we will know who be senior or who be junior. When we get heaven, it is then we know who is greater. Here on earth, if you call me mommy, the only respect you give me, you try, you thank you. Is only respect. Who knows maybe if I get to heaven, maybe I will be your baby. Who knows? If you call me mommy, I appreciate. Is only a respect. That is why I never get carried away. If somebody just come to me and say, Mommy, good morning. I go smile say, hey, Good morning, stand up. I say, I see But others, when you just tell them, Daddy, wow, they become God. They, get, they, no, no, they, they just lose control. They don't know how to come back to themselves. You know, you know, just tell the daddy anything you want me to do. Anything you want me to do. The next thing they started remoting your life. My dear, let's pray. So, why you over? Tell Ruba Jova Ilua too. Tell Ruba Jova Ilua Ni Kuka. Tell Ruba Jova Ilua Ni Toro. Tell Ruba Jova Ilua Ni Kuka. Tell Ruba Dwosi Kwa Lashe. Ilua Daru Ilua Kan. Omo ba je bi eru lo ja beru ba joba ilu oni kukan beru ba joba ilu atu beru ba joba ilu oni kukan. Do you know what that means? If a slave become the king, he will surely misuse the staff. He will turn the city upside down because royalty is not in his blood. And the sign of slave is when your, your brain is low. It's a sign of slave. When you have IQ, what makes you king is when you are wiser than your subjects. King is not by title. King is ability of the wisdom you carry. <laughs> and when you think you are wise, in the flesh, what about spiritual wisdom? A church leader must have spiritual wisdom that will reflect to physical world. Oh. That's why my pastor, whenever I gather you on Monday, I say, Pastor, pray for wisdom. I see you praying with Loki. Uh, I, 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 I just pity say they don't understand. People wiser than you will sit down listening to you. Every of your mistake will reduce the honor they have for you. That is why you see member want to greet pastor. How are you, pastor? That thing goes here. I will not be the one to tell you not to stretch hand to me. I'm sorry. To me, pastor has no right to dupe anybody. My honor honor you have for me that thing that demand respect for me in you will teach you when to bless me want to help me when to feed me the honor you have for god in me will tell you when to give me why why should i be the one to ask you if i'm the one asking you something don't happen to me i'm i don't know if other believe in that but that's my belief and it works for me if you have if you have ever seen anybody that say evangelist, we may call him and ask for something. Raise up your hand. 
to buy the gorilla here. Have you ever heard of it? Answer me now. He ni she. He be that guy ko. He ni ama. He ni ama kube ni. Not because of pride. <clears throat> because of my position. This position is too holy for me to tarnish. I will never do that. I will never do that. Will not permit me to do it. So pray. Rescue the foolish Christian that ignorantly digging their grave under fake anointing. Open your mouth and pray for them. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. The last time I spoke about this farming, I say, how I wish I am one of those billionaires pastors. This is the time I will display my words. Ask me what will I do? I will go and build big, big warehouse in each state. Lagos State, I will build a warehouse. A warehouse that will cover like three acres or four acres of land. I will go to each state, build it. I will use my billions of dollars. I will be buying food, importing food. I will be loading it there. I will put some of my members, train them to be a security, to protect the food. So when farming starts, if you want food, crusade, come to my crusade. I will preach to them. No, be saying Jesus do. After preaching to them, he give them food. Eh? I will preach to them. Give your life to Christ. Eh? Uh -huh. Give your life to Christ. My member, my church will be big. I will use the opportunity when when there's farming. Who go go work? Which work? Everybody will be jobless. So they, nobody will be busy. If I call program morning, afternoon, evening, night, everybody will answer me. So for food day. So everybody that come to my camp no say food day. In fact, I'm telling you, I'll be feeding people, giving them the word of God, giving them the food of the spirit. And the normal food of life and f ah my dear when i say sister if you do, if you don't want to die don't watch trouser like okay? any women that wear trousers no food for them hey, hey. will you have the question will anybody query me anybody that put attachment and makeup no food for you yay everybody will born again by force by fire by the time farming will go, they want to return to their sin. The true word of God will have eaten them. They will have realized the truth. I will not force them again. They, even they will even love the new life more than the way I give to them. And that is all. But I'm sorry, I don't get one million. I don't get one million. I don't get. National account of this church, right now, the money where they did not reach 400,000. This church, this national account, you know, reached 400,000. And that does not stop me. I'm not ashamed. Because you worth more than billions to me. You. You are my world. So let us pray. God, you know about famine. If famine is coming. In the day of Joseph, famine turned to blessing. Unto Joseph, is that not so? Oh yeah. Use this farming as your instrument of gospel. Is that a good prayer point? Some people think I'm bad. It may not be me who will give that money. It may be another person. God can touch one great man of God that have money. And he can start doing what I'm saying. God can use anybody. I pray. Farming no go kill you in Jesus' name. I pray, I'm gonna go kill you in Jesus' name. The waiting go kill yourself. He <laughs> said, we don't want hunger. Oh, yeah, waiting go kill you, tell me. Say, I'm malaria. I've been mean, waiting. <laughs> Whatever. Let my death be my transporter to glory. That's my own. 
my prayer is God let my death be my transporter to glory I know they go here let's pray if famine is coming oh Lord use it as a instrument of gospel salvation instrument of salvation instrument of healing to your church use it if you can go use the same thing to fulfill the dream and his promises on joseph he can use it again for us is that not so so no fear for the children of god god use it for your glory to save so to win us to, to, to revive the church to heal the people open your mouth and pray in jesus christ mighty name we pray my dear christian dream is not led by spirit of god anymore we are led by the spirit of mammon a four one man in prison he said no problem i will soon get out i just want to connect with my pastor this is not the first time they get me anytime they get me my pastor will get me out by the time my pastors pray with anointing they will get me out i say what do you say you say ah mommy i'm not joking no my pastor will get me out your pastor i'll be your abalis he said my pastor true true by the time i get there after two months this brother is no more in prison and pastor don't get them out now nah, now nah, say god if truly you need his soul bring him back to prison and let me pray another while for him. he come back to prison i said this time only two things can get you out here either salvation or death only two things will get you out he said mommy what do you mean i say i'm the one that pray you back i want to show you that your pastor is not of god because he said my pastor say we are we are the one that will Get the blessing of the jail ties. Oyibo has robbed our father. God send us back to go and get our, what belongs to us. That's what my pastor told me. And I say, your pastor is lying. All what you are doing is called theft. Stealing. Your pastor is a liar. You are a candidate of hell. He laugh. This guy laugh at me. Say, mommy, pray for wisdom of God. I'm not here now. She is sure of what he's saying. He believes he knows what he's saying. He said, Mommy, pray for wisdom of God. I love the way you preach. But you know, even man, one man cannot get everything. There's some area you still lack wisdom. When God gives you the wisdom, you will know what I'm saying. After four months, I go back to prison. Nine they run up and down and must see woman of God. I can't they pray. He has seen Jesus three times in the dream. Some of his mates that they are doing the work together, that pastor is praying for them, that die in accident, he saw them in hell. He saw revelations when he see me, he say, woman of God. Woman of God. Now I know your God. Now I know who is my pastor. God talked to Ram so they, God tell Ram say, he, may, if, he really, if he come out there, God want to use him. He tell him the city where he go start the work. He tell him the person where he go carry and there. God give her address where he go. They push her from prison. Mm. Mm. The brother they are quiet but now where they do the work of God. They are quiet but now. Now from prison God give her everything. Because if he know insult me, you know say I no go charge to do what I do. Now the insult will he give me. Now he charge me to do what is right. So at times, when you preach to somebody is talking nonsense, cool down for Holy Spirit to teach you to bring out, to bring out sense from the nonsense. Don't allow your anger to listen or to walk. Let the Holy Spirit in you answer him. The last prayer point. We are going to pray. God, do not listen to my stupid prayer anymore. <laughs> Did you hear me? Do not listen to my stupid prayer that flow from my foolishness. 
manage me to heaven. Anything that pleases you that will make me to make heaven do it to me. Whatever I like or I don't like, so far you will not lead me to heaven. Reject it for me. Is that a good prayer point? Is there any wisdom in it? God, don't listen to my stupid prayer again. The stupid prayer that flow from the ocean of my foolishness. Don't listen to it again. Whatever you will do that will grant me evil, either painful or not painful, do it to me. Don't listen to my foolish prayer again. Is that right? Yeah. Open your mouth and pray. In Jesus Christ, mighty name we pray. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. heavenly Lord, we bless your name. A day like this again, we thought it's over. Thank you. Thank you. Even though this day did not call, those word i've given to your people is enough for them to make heaven but thank you for this opportunity again god the only prayer point is this grace to utilize our time grace to manage it well wisdom to maneuver from the party of hell to the part of heaven given to us God, everyone under this message today shall not regret and remember this message in regret in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, manage our life. Amen. Padu our keno. Drive our motto. Pilot our aircraft. Amen. Lead us in your own way. Amen. According to your will, we shall live according to your will it shall be lord let thy will be done in our individual life in the name of jesus christ god i pray everybody here today they are here with different reasons motive but you know it all you hear it all god i pray everybody in this place with different prayer requests attend to them Amen. attend to them Amen. attend to them Amen. your need Amen. your request Amen. your question Amen. your worry Amen. may god attend to you in the name of jesus christ Amen. as you are here listening to my message there are some people somewhere somewhere somehow they passionately hate my message. Not because they are full, but because something did not permit them. God, I pray, this grace given to your people shall not be wasted in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord will give you grace to rejoice at the end on all this opportunity of yours in the name of Jesus. Amen. And so shall it be. Amen. In Jesus Christ's mighty name we pray. Amen.